Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to TechTune. If your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is feeling sluggish or maybe you've been playing around with a custom ROM and want to get back to the stock experience, you've landed in the perfect spot. Today, we are showing you exactly how to install a stock firmware on your Galaxy Note 9 step by step so nobody gets left behind. Whether you're restoring factory settings or fixing an unresponsive device, keep watching because we've got everything you need to get your phone running like new. So before we jump into the actual process, let's make sure you're fully prepared. Installing a stock firmware can seem like a daunting task, but trust me, it's totally doable if you follow the steps carefully. First off, ensure you have the following. A computer, your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Make sure your device has at least 60 to 70% of battery, just to be safe. A USB cable, the Odin tool, and about this we'll explain more in just a moment. The stock firmware, you will need to download the right firmware for your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Be sure to grab the correct version, depending on your region and carrier. If you're not sure where to find it, I'll leave a link to a trusted source in the description. Now let's talk about the backup. If you're like me, you probably have a ton of important stuff on your smartphone. Photos, messages, apps and all of your custom settings. Installing a stock firmware will wipe everything, yes, everything, so back it up. You can back up to a Google Drive, Samsung Cloud or using a third-party app like Smart Switch to save your data. Just make sure it's all backed up. Believe me, you don't want to lose all that stuff, right? Next up, we need to enable a few things on your Galaxy Note 9 to allow your computer to communicate with your phone properly. The first thing is developer mode. Now go to settings, scroll down to about phone and then tap software information and hit bill number 7 times. Once you see that pop up that says you're now a developer, you're good to go. Next go back to settings, scroll to the bottom and you will see a developer options tab. Tap on it then enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. Trust me, you'll need both. Now it's time to get our tools set up. First we'll need Odin. This is a flashing software that will help us install the stocks firmware. Head to the official Odin download page and grab the latest version. Don't worry, I'll link it down in the description so you don't have to go hunting for it. Next, you'll need to download the correct stock firmware for your Galaxy Note 9. If you're unsure which version to pick, check the model number and carrier version, which you can find in the phone's setting under About Phone. Now, once you've downloaded the Odin and the firmware files, it's time to get everything installed and set up. For Odin, all you have to do is extract the zip file by selecting extract file and then click extract this will take some time and once that's done now open the odin exe file and select run as administrator and this will open up like this now for the firmware files you'll have a zip file that contains multiple files like AP, BL, CP and CSC. You need to extract these. Once you do that, we are ready to start the flashing process. So the extraction process might take a while. So let me just fast forward it. Now let's put your Galaxy Note 9 into download mode. This step is crucial, so follow carefully. First things first, you'll have to power off your device completely. So press the power switch and select power off and turn off the device. Once it's completely turned off, now hold the Bixby button 
and the volume down button simultaneously and then connect a USB cable which is connected to your computer. Once this is connected, it will take you into download mode. With your Note 9 in download mode, you should see a blue box appear in Odin indicating that your phone is connected. If everything goes smoothly, Odin will show a blue added message at the bottom confirming your phone is detected. If not, make sure you've installed the right USB drivers on your PC or try switching USB ports. Now the fun part. In Odin, we are going to load the firmware files. Start with BL file in the BL section and do the same for AP, CP and CSC files, loading each one into their respective sections. In the correct order, if you mess this up, it could cause problems. If you are unsure, just check the file names and match them to the correct slots in Odin. Once all the files are loaded, double check everything and make sure the auto reboot and F reset time boxes are checked in. When you are ready, just click start. This process can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes depending on your computer and the firmware size. Just be patient, don't unplug the phone during the process, let the Odin do its thing. Now let me just fast forward this. Once Odin shows pass in green, you're done. Your Galaxy Note 9 will automatically reboot and you'll be back to the stock firmware. The first boot might take a little longer than usual, so don't worry if it takes a minute or two. After that, you will be greeted with a setup screen. So now, let me just complete the setup. And that's it. You've successfully installed the stock firmware on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Your phone is now back to its factory state and you can enjoy a smooth, unmodified experience. So if you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to TechTune for more awesome in-depth guides like this one. And also we've got tons of exciting content coming your way, so stay tuned.